One. One. Two, more intense. Three more intense. Three. Four similar intensity, Four. if anything, coming down. Five. Five. Six. Six. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you. And you. I just I think there's a lot of people thinking that I'm I'm gonna you know I'm use this opportunity to laugh at Arsenal Football Club. I'm not. We're just gonna talk about what happened. <laughs> what really happened. And, and that's enough. I don't really need to add any advice. <laughs> nice. That's all I need. Are you I, I set a challenge to the people of the Jaffin Law. If you're an Arsenal fan, have you got it in you? Can you make it through this podcast? That is the challenge I'm setting you all. Are you willing to stick around? Um, well, look, it would be easy for me to put the knife in right right now. Why, why is that? Because they're really disappointed and down, aren't they? they do all about it all. They do seem a touch low. Yeah. Like, a tough week. The call it's in. a tough week. It has been a tough week for them. It has been a tough week. I mean, not not for the first time at this stage of the season has it been a tough week for them, but I don't know. Let's keep him around, though, shall we? Let's keep him around. I love, uh... Yeah, I've got no, I've I've got no problem with those sweet, sweet gunners. Though it has, it is, has it turned sour or is it on its way to turning sour? I don't know. Look, look, look. I, look I, there are some questions. I do have some questions. A couple of things, a couple of points that have been percolating since last night, uh, <laughs> and I will ask those questions, but. If there is an Arsenal fan out there at the moment who's even remotely considering Arteta, whether or not he's the right manager for the job, you're out of your fucking mind, mind if you want him yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, last night for me, um, sorry, the Arsenal, the Arsenal game for me watching it, it was, it was a great example of, of that's a really good team, but it doesn't have the individuals right now to step up because the game was so tight. They need you need someone to go. I'll do it. Like even now, I know yep. last week we were talking about it being boring or like, or, or it, I mean, I've spoken about it a lot actually this week about, you know, systems and teams and how drilled teams are now. And what's interesting, I think, is that even when that, when you have two teams like Bayern and Arsenal, who are both well drilled, it then comes down to someone going, oh, I'm happy to win it. Shall I win it? For, shall I just, that's what Kimmich said. Kimi said, guys, should I just win the game for us? Is that okay with you? And they're like, <laughs> Harry Kane was like, but all our, all our goals, all our goals. But I'm the leader here. I think it's best I step inside from the wide, right back position and get the goal for the team and move us through to the last stages. I wonder how offensive Joshua that is to German people. I, I, I don't think fine. it needs to be. I think, uh, as I was speaking, I was thinking, is this offensive? That's an amazing thing, isn't it? You know, when you have, you know, when you're talking and you're thinking. <laughs> Do you have that? Yeah, of course, all the right. time. Like <laughs> now, right now, as I speak, it's happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's. I find that amazing. I find it amazing that you can um, be talking, and I'm literally my the, in this other side of my brain. I'm thinking, oh wow, I'm thinking whilst I'm talking. So I think that's. <laughs> Well, yeah, they're, they're um, called intrusive thoughts, aren't they? Those, the ones where they, you have these like mad ones. But I'd love, no, I'd love intrusive, in, intrusive, intrusive thoughts. Well, if you see like an Arsenal, a kid in an Arsenal kit walking down the road in front of you, you <laughs> I'd love to front yeah, kick that get, kid. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. intrusive thoughts. Yeah, yeah, you get your little. I, I'd say that see yeah. in my head. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm not saying out loud. Kid, seven yeah. years old. Do I trip him up? Maybe. Do I do um, what I will do? What I will do is he, if he's walking towards me, you're gonna have to go around me, son, because I'm walking straight. I'm not getting out of your way. He's Chelsea. Yeah. Um speaking yeah, uh, so six that's years a new old. that's a new bit. And speaking of new bits, we've had there is a civil war in the comment section right now, guys. Is there? Yeah. A crisis of sorts. Um but before we get to that, what do you think? Arteta in a press conference will be talking, right? And he'll be saying the right things. That's what managers do, right? What's his inner monologue saying, in your opinion, Flav? I think you, you, I think you, he's saying what you, what, I, th I think what goes on inside his brain is basically what comes out of his mouth. Do you think? Yeah. I don't, do you, yeah, do you think I part don't, of his going, you, have you got an, part of his going, 
God. Needed that one. <laughs> I could have really done with that one. That one. <laughs> I could have done with that one. Like, we're Look, like the... by hook or by crook. He's going, can't do this next year, can I? Can I get away with this in four years on the spin? <laughs> he well, he said it's with it was it was too early for Arsenal. And you're like, well, it might be too early for Arsenal in that they haven't been in Champions League, been in Champions League twice. Right? But it's not too early for you. You're five years into this this project. So you can't you this isn't new you, what you're doing here. You've been there long enough. It isn't it wouldn't be knee jerk. It'd be knee jerk to to remove him, but it wouldn't be knee jerk to have a conversation about why this keeps happening to Arsenal. And that he is long he's further enough into his reign at Arsenal to take responsibility for things that go wrong. And it isn't just because they've been in the Champions League for, for two years running. Because I think when we the, the second time we were in the Champions League, we got to the final. And Do... when you look at their Champions League run this season, because they put this no, but this out, is their first. Thought... This is their first year, isn't it? Didn't they? No, they're in it last year. No, because they, they don't, second, didn't they? No, no, because they no, they finished second last year. But the year before that, they they b o t t l e d did it, didn't they? And you were in the Champions so League. A, was that first year? First year. Whatever, mate. Does that change everything? Shit. That change it's, everything. It's, it's, Does not, that change not everything? Not really. Not, not, not really. Not really. Because, you, uh, you know, when you spend 800 million, 800 million That was million nearly pounds. my title. This changes everything. Well, keep, it, keep the title. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> but 800 million pounds on a squad. You pay 105 million pounds for one player. It isn't too early for Declan Rice. He's won a European competition. He knows how to win one. So why didn't it happen this time? Also, you look at their run. I was looking at Tom Garrett's TikTok. It came up. It was great. It really sort of suits my agenda. <laughs> because when um, when you look when you look at their Champions League run based off the tweet, we're, we're, what we we're what, it, what a Champions League run, what super proud or whatever it is, they the club oh, tweeted. I still tweeted that, didn't they? What did, what do you think about that? Is that not allowed? A journey to it's, be proud it, of, says Ben Bowman. Ready, literally, right. Richie teeing a fellow Spurs creator teeing you up there. Here you go, Flav. Well done, it, Flav, it's, Flav, it's um, a journey to be proud of. If you want to say that. It's a journey to be proud of. The uh, is it a journey uh, to be proud look, of? Look, look, that's look, a good question. What, is what, it a journey in, to be proud of? Well, in 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 as much as it, that's the correct thing for their social media thing, uh, their social media team to create and send out the messaging. Yeah, it's fine. In reality, in reality, they got through a group with PSV, Lons, and Sevilla, and then they, and then they beat Porto. Over two legs of requiring, did they require penalties? They did, they yeah, yeah, yeah. They hit David Raya. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They didn't really beat Porto. So, yeah, yeah. So they, they progressed, how, and so when they Porto. got to buy, didn't New... beat them. They did. They progressed as, past them. As, uh, and as Tom Garrett said, they got knocked out by the second best team in Germany and the worst Bayern Munich team in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Which I fully appreciate that take. Um, um, if look, you're still here, yeah. Arsenal fans, I applaud it. Stay with us. Stay with us. One more thing and then and, and, and I'm, and I'm going to stop. One more thing and then I'll stop. Oh, no, we've got an hour to do. <laughs> Let's stop now. Well, no, uh, so I can carry on, but I don't, I, don't, I don't want to damage your channel. I don't want to damage nah, your channel okay. with my, my one-sided bias agenda. Well, I, do, someone did say, that, you know, we were saying Make last week, on, someone goes, why do you, want. you know, someone said, why do you keep getting this guy on? <laughs> this guy on? <laughs> someone wrote a comment. I love the idea that, I love the idea. Where is it? It was in my... Oh yeah, I love the idea. This is L M ninety four fifteen said. I love the idea that Flav is just a recurring guest on a podcast he's been on for five years. <laughs> and this week's we guest, together. welcome we back to James. And, yeah, welcome back to James and Flav for now. With me, your host James Alcott, and my guest this week. <laughs> this week, uh, this, Flav. The irony of this, James, is this <laughs> this podcast precedes your channel. Which, yeah, yeah. This is it. Which, 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 oh, and which year, was funny, right? Months. Which this is this is amazing, right? No one know, but very few know this, right? Which comes, which precedes the channel, which comes from a podcast that they that that the person who started it wasn't wasn't you either, but started it with with you, and <laughs> I wasn't in, <laughs> I wasn't in it. <laughs> so this essential podcast didn't actually include James at the start. It was someone else completely. <laughs> yeah, it's someone else. So someone else's idea that couldn't be asked to do it anymore who got who who got you on it because he didn't like me and wanted to talk to you <laughs> that's the truth so yeah so and, then, and here he is as a guest five years later 
funny how things Amazing. change, isn't it? Um, okay, so look, at least the, the, at what point do you ask questions about whether or not Arsenal's very best players need to move on to get silverware? <laughs> okay. Well, so what I would like, right, our beloved patrons, if you want to be a patron, you can join us live for the podcast. We also do a mailbag each and every week. What do we talk about this week? I remember now. It was yesterday. I can't remember it. Um, anyway, the they're really good as well. Good sell, isn't it? <laughs> um, and you can be with us for the live show. I'd love to have some calm takes on the situation at several clubs. Now, this is the, this is the good bit, Arsenal fans, because we actually what we were talking about yesterday was it's interesting that so this is this is interesting, right? Football, my my views and the views are on, on football YouTube generally, I've noticed over the last week have been quite low, right? And my theory was that the problem is Arsenal aren't Arsenal fans aren't happy, Tottenham fans aren't happy, Liverpool fans aren't happy, Chelsea fans aren't happy, Man United fans aren't Just happy, for. and and uh, Man City fans are the only fans that are happy and, and, and on Portsmouth. and Portsmouth fans, of course, and of the um. Of the you know of the fan bases on the platform, Man City fans don't have the largest amount, right? So views are down a little bit. To prove that, uh, so I've been having quite bad bad views. I did a video on Haaland this morning. One of ten. <laughs> it's like the whole world's gone. Oh, it's like the the oasis of someone else's woes that aren't mine because Man City, this juggernaut that cannot be stopped didn't progress in a football match. Um, but I would yeah. like to have people's calm takes on different uh, teams. I think that would be interesting. Do you, so you're yeah. saying, with Arsenal, you're saying, and uh, we won't talk all about football this week, by the way. Don't worry, guys, because that's that's the mutiny that's in the comments, which we'll get to. Um, but we'll chat about it for a little bit longer. With Arsenal, do... What do you do? You think this is the beginning of the end? Do you think some of these players are going to want to move on? I'm not saying it is the beginning of the end. They're on big contracts. It'll be difficult to get them out of Arsenal. I'm just saying, at what point do they go? I'm not sure I'm in the right jumping place ship. Jumping ship. When do you jump ship? I think they're two players away. Yeah, two players away from from getting over the line. There's been something. What, do you, what you, you mean? You, you mean that you, they've got to spend another two hundred million? Is that what you're saying? I think they are. I think they're one. They have to have an out and out striker. Like the the video we did last night, when you go through what was a very f- tense match, two well drilled teams, two defensively solid teams, it's going to come down to a moment or or the creation of a moment from nothing. And Arsenal were Arsenal's forward line were incapable of doing that. Like Saka doesn't see himself at the moment. Martinelli, I thought, was poor. Um, missed a really good chance. Havertz is just... I Havertz, mind. we can talk around, we can talk around it as, as, as much as we want to. He will never... And clip this up. He will never score 25 goals in a Premier League season. Just not going to. So if he's your striker, the central striker who's keeping out Jesus, for reasons I understand, I think he got the lineup completely right, that's still a problem. Because at some point you need a guy who will get you over the line when you're not playing well, because you can't play well all the time, and and that is right. That's where Arsenal are struggling. I think. I, I agree. I, I don't. Do you know what? I don't disagree with anything you've said <laughs> at all. I didn't think you meant. But a month ago, they were talking about all of these players like they were world class, like they were the best. If you'd have if you'd have picked an Arsenal fan off the street and got him to do a combined eleven against Real Madrid or in, in fact any team on earth. They'd have put eight or nine Arsenal players in that in that first eleven. Every yeah. so what I'm saying is is we we you can't ask me to be balanced. I don't about want, I don't need you need to be balanced. In, in as, the, a, as a guest of the podcast, I know that. you're here to just enjoy yourself. Okay, you leave that to me. I know that. I'm just saying. I'm I'm talking. I'm not necessarily aiming at you, James. I'm saying generally. Right. Don't like Arsenal fans. Don't ask me to be composed and balanced about the frailties in your squad because a month ago you said there were none. Oh no, you can't score. Now Havertz isn't isn't the guy. What was we sixty five million too pounds? Early. Too early. Uh, the um, do you know, I thought that I had a moment this week. I was thinking sometimes you get comments about Man City. People, Man City fans thinking I hate Man City, which I don't. I'm not bothered about. But what I would love to say to them in this moment is, 
if I if you ask me, do you want Bayern Munich to win the league in the the Bundesliga? And I say no. I don't want Munich mm. to win it. I'd like someone else to win it. Yeah, cool. it, am I like that's that's what's happened here in this country? Man City win it all the time, so not yeah. wanting them to win it all the time is actually just we just have to a bit of variance, aren't you? Or competition? Yeah, situation. I think everybody everybody wants that apart from Spurs fans in this situation. Yeah, uh, and Chelsea. This, I don't think any Chelsea fan wants it. With the Spurs thing, um, are you? How are you feeling about the coefficient? Because um, are you shouldn't have you been not... rooting for Arsenal to sort of f- f- with a desire to be successful yourselves? I couldn't give a solitary fuck about the coefficient. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, to absolutely nobody. Ha- and, and not it's not just me. I was heartened. I was heartened by Twitter yesterday. Where <laughs> really? Wow. I've never heard that before. This is rare, yeah, but he, no no Spurs fan. Where everybody was reveling in the fact that Arsenal hadn't. And look again, people going, "You're so bitter. You hate Arsenal." God, I literally got a message the other night when you really hate Arsenal, don't you, Flav? Yes. And I went, "Yeah, mate, I do. I really, <laughs> really hate you." And then he went, "I wish sickness on all of your family." And I was like, oh, take your fuck. "That's too much, mate. That's too much." Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to say you really hate Tottenham, and we move about our day. Yeah. That's what I'm rolls in. Sickness on my family is too much. Yeah, whoa, 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 Bloody whoa, whoa, hell! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can whoa, I get your? Whoa, whoa, can whoa, I get whoa. your number? Can I get your? Can we talk? Can we? No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk this through now. Can we talk no, this through? No, it was a. You've gone too far follow, there now. You've crossed the line. Follows one person, zero followers, egg yeah, account, or whatever yeah, you call it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, but the point is, is that it's my job as a Spurs fan to hate Arsenal and revel in these moments. And and in fact, whether we finish fifth or fourth, if you believe in what Pastor Cosby's doing, is irrelevant at this stage. It's just it, well, the destination is the same. You just get there faster or slower, but eventually we'll get there. I, well, last night I, I, wasn't about the coefficient. Barcelona was about our, our very our very own Ben Bowman, one of our moisties. Um, he he, well, his ringtone, as we know, is the Europa League uh, believe, theme yeah. tune. Which, uh, what is it? I've forgotten it now. I've only, I can only get, I can only hear Champions League. What's Europa uh, League? What's Europa League's gone? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Or is that what? whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa? Has Conference League got its own one? Where's Catherine? I don't think it has, does it? Conference League's got bad. Do you know what? That's not helping its status. It needs its own jingle. I'm sure they've tried. <laughs> no one, no one... And in the chat, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> well, because I was with Ben. Ben wanted, he didn't want Champions League. He wanted Europa League to fit his hipster agenda with the, with the idea of a slow, a slow journey that you could be proud of um, by winning the Europa League next year. Which I still think, I think that is, I think that's best. I think Champions, best. Cha- I think Champions League is not good for Tottenham. Really, I really, really believe that. Look, I understand where you're coming from in that getting pumped in the Champions League or just scraping through a group stages isn't ideal, not for the building of the squad. Uh and this is what Ben keeps saying. No, I do want Champions League. Yeah, I just feel like no, ben, it, there are merits. There you go. There are yeah. <laughs> benefits. Right. Ben, <laughs> I, know, ben be I know when it comes to Spurs, you can talk, but you are welcome to jump into the Discord server to explain your point of why you want your opening. There are, I do, no, 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 no. I do want Champions League. He, and there he, are merits. <laughs> the thing is, is that what we, so we on the latest podcast saying like, obviously we all do little adjustments through the season to stay happy. Sure. And we said, look, if we did finish in the Europa League spaces, there you see the development issues. And then Ben went, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you yeah. all laughed at me. Oh, yeah. We are not yeah, laughing, laughing now. now. <laughs> is that Farage's legacy? That's that hope sentence. So. Is that his legacy? You bloody hope so, don't you? Yeah. Hope Good so. grief. Well, actually, I mean, was it him who created Brexit? Was that him? Does he get that? I mean, no. I don't know. Who knows at this stage? It's early days, isn't it? The, um, so, okay. Ben, is Ben popping in or not? He wants Champions League. I'm very happy with Europa. See, I think, go and win the Europa League. Go get yourself a, go have a little I'd semi-final that. here and there. And you're going to get excited again. Yeah. I'd love that, Jim. I'd love that. I, think, I could think of nothing better currently than winning a trophy. 
Well, then, yeah, there you go. I think I think that's the way. I think that's the way to go. Um, do so... Arsenal? Mm. Do Arsenal? And Arsenal? Will Arsenal Ooh. win the league from this point? Um, at no stage have I said they'll win the league this year. Okay, but not, at this I'm stage, not, do you think gonna, they could? I'm not starting now. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, you didn't no, think I don't that think this was the season. No, I never thought it was. No, Mate, I, 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 season, honestly, about three weeks season. ago, I was like, I was like, do you know what? They do keep winning, <laughs> and they don't concede many. Because that, see, you know what you're saying about everyone saying what they were saying. To be fair to them, and to be fair to all of us, the problem that we're all dealing with every single week is we're with is we we can only go on the past which is stupid yeah. really you you're sort of yeah you can only go on the past so when you keep when Arsenal keep winning and the villa games their first defeat Ooh. of 2024 you go well insane. hang on something's going on here Get like him surely out. Get him out. yeah look at the evidence but then yeah. as soon as as soon as you see as soon as you see what you believe i think then it's like it feels a lot more profound and that the the Bayern Munich game in particular, but I guess the Villa game a little bit as well. And the, from here in, I'm not sure they can win games without playing really well. And I think that's I think that's what you need sometimes. You need I to be able to win what... without playing great and people stepping up for you. And I'm just not sure they've got those guys who'll go out there and just bloody get it done. If they don't beat Tottenham. Probably over in it. Big game in it. Fuck me. I'm just good, saying. Good like, it's, grief. It's, it's, it's all, all on you guys. All on you guys. You come come to Tottenham. Like, what, 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 fifth, fourth? Doesn't matter to Spurs. Sixth, don't matter. Still Europa. Doesn't matter to Spurs. Where we finish. <laughs> in terms all of... All the pressure. In terms all of... All the pressure. <laughs> all of the pressure is on Arsenal. You've got to come to White Hart Lane, right? And you've got, to, you've got to get a result. Otherwise, the result is... Let, let this sink in. Spurs have stopped you from winning the league. All the pressure, all the time. That I mean, that's the life of the of the Arsenal fan. I, I think that, and that that's why there was such a breakdown after that. That well, both yeah. both defeats really. I think Bayern, Bayern, you could see that happen. What happened? But I think the Villa thing the, with a depleted Villa side, you thought that they wouldn't be up to it. But Villa were very good. Got to give them credit. Jim, could you think that? Think about this, right? In three years, in the last three years. Mm. If you look at the last three North London derbies, one, if Arsenal don't beat us this season at Wire Lane, one, they didn't even show up because they were scared. <laughs> Still using that. Two, they, they won last year, fair play. And this year, we stopped them from winning the league. Mm. Oh, what do you mean? What, sorry, sorry, hang on, James. What do you mean? Um, are you still using that? <laughs> That should be go, go down in written in folklore, yeah, and never be forgotten. Should be its own statue. Let me remind you. Let me one player with COVID. Oh, uh, well, well, we can't play. Call can't let's we? call it then. Let's call it. Then. Do you know, it's, it's the one. It's the one friend who's the glue in the group, and if he's not going, no one else really wants to go. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that would be mad. Like the funny thing is, Arsenal and Villa play before Man City play. Win their we game, win that not game in hand. Win their game this week. Arsenal, uh, Liverpool playing Fulham away. Arsenal playing Wolves. Tricky games, but still, they're both above Man City. It is amazing, well, isn't Man it? Like, like I know, I get there's so much noise in football, right? I get there's so much noise in football, and again, going talking about like what we're, uh, we all we can utilize is what's kind of happened in the recent past, generally. If Arsenal and Liverpool, but this is true as well, if Arsenal and win, Liverpool win their next game, for the next week, they're ahead of Man City. <laughs> they're above them in the table. I know Man City have got a game in hand, I get that. But that but, is, the, the points are on the board. The points are on the board. But the, the feeling that it's over is, is uh, it's amazing, I mean, isn't it? It's, it's amazing it's everyone not, feels that way. Of course it isn't over. Of course it isn't over. I don't feel like that at all. Not There isn't a, there isn't a single... I feel better than I did before the Villa game, but there isn't a single piece of me that thinks that Arsenal are out of this. So we all. okay, we've got 32 people watching uh, the Moist Sluggies right now. Could everyone type in how you feel? Obviously, obviously, math, obviously, mathematically, yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah. 
Yeah, go on. Who do you think is going to win the league? Obviously, Liverpool. Uh, but do you also feel like it's over? Because it's obviously so not over, but yet the whole so world feels to do, like it's over. Is it over? I'd like over, to. I'd like. Can we do over. my over question first? So over or under? <laughs> under meaning not over. it's not over. <laughs> I'll give two questions here. This is the problem. But yeah, I mean to play Tottenham, that's that is a that's a doozy of a game, isn't it? That really is a doozy. It's a big one. So how like desperate are you in in the desperate stakes? <laughs> God, God. Comments are a mess. No, no one knows what the fuck's going on. <laughs> In the desperation stakes, how desperate are top, is the Tottenham fan base to get fourth? How desperate? On a scale of one to ten, what be your? I feel like in, in the same way that Arsenal feel like it's an uphill uh, uphill struggle now. I feel like it is for Spurs because of just the teams we have to play. We've got to play City. We've got to play Liverpool. We've got to play Chelsea. We've got to play Arsenal. Oof. So. Um, yeah, so it's so yeah, it's one of them ones really, and obviously because of City and Arsenal going out last night, and Liverpool no doubt will go out tonight, means that the coefficient's completely fucked. So it will be the fourth. That flipping but... comment there of Liverpool definitely going out when we record this before it could could explode, could explode the internet. Um, we've got um, yeah, it's been a bit of a mess, but generally City, City, City under a couple saying under. This is not over, says Jacko. This means over says the Liverpool fans. Um, <laughs> it does sl- it does feel slightly over. I hope it's not, though. Last day playoff. That's what we won, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean... No, we... Well, we're, we, playing, we're playing Manchester City at home in the last game, game of the season. You got who last game? City at home. Last game of the season? Yeah, it was moved. It was supposed to play this week, but it, they've, they're in the semi-finals of the uh, FA Cup, so it was moved to the last game of the season. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, so it could be that City come to Tottenham <laughs> needing to win in order to stop Arsenal from winning the league. In fact, it's almost guaranteed that that's going to be the case. Okay, so do you lie yeah, down? You know the answer. You know the answer. Lie down. Lie down. We, or bend if over, if City you win, there will, be an in, there will be a pitch invasion of both Tottenham and City fans on the pitch together. Do you, you're going to get to experience what I was able to experience, also with Man City. Oh, where, where oh right. Both... Apparently I've made a mistake. Penultimate game. Penultimate game. 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 You were told. You were fucking told. Um, Okay. Right. We've got lots to get through. And guys, you're going to be excited about this. We're going to be analysing one of the most bizarre videos I've ever seen. Um, I loved it. Also, I've got um, got some cracking screenshots here that... um, We On the mailbag, I decided uh, there was a good bit to be had, uh, which was um, heartbreaking legacies. Right, so yeah, David Dunn. Um, what he? Uh, this is from a video where he reacted to his own Rabona attempt. So new bits, yay! New bits for the comments. What I want to talk about each week is one person's heartbreaking legacy. So some people will just be known for the rest of their career for doing certain things. For example, just popped into my head when it comes to I don't know Dominic Calvert Lewin. Are we actually just going to remember him for a GQ cover? Probably or not. Duncan Ferguson for being for punching um, yep. whatever it was. Yeah. Yep. And David Dunn, who had a, he had a great career, very enjoyable footballer, but he will be remembered yeah. for, for this and this alone. Nothing else. Whole career wasted. <laughs> and, and what I found interesting when I watched it, what people don't remember, look who they're playing. Aston Villa. <laughs> I didn't realise it was Villa. Birmingham Villa, Derby game. He tries to pull out the Rabona. We can break it down step by step here. He's seen a little bit of space. What I don't understand is you know, everyone knows how difficult a Rabona is, right? Yeah, can, why do it? Why do it when you're going kind of away from goal? All a bit weird. Move it, if we move it on one. Oh, wrong way. If we move it on one. He then has a look. If you zoom in there, you'll see that. Look. He has a little look. There's a cross there. It's available to him. I'm going to... And in that moment, he thought, I'm going to ruin my career. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ruin my career with a little... The quickest... The the quickest way to get that ball in the box is probably the Rabona. (laughs) Because if he takes a touch, the the defenders can react a bit. A Rabona would get him into that ball into a position. It's just insanely difficult to do. Do People talking about... As quickly as you want. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, But use your left foot. Just cross with your left foot. 
You don't have to do a remote. You got two legs. Use your other leg. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, people going on I mean, about Gerard Slip. Crazy, that's crazy. that's an interesting. Is Gerard Slip? Is that what he's remembered for yeah. more than anything else? Yeah, I think that, and maybe winning the league of Rangers. Champions Other League, not Champions League. Not getting them back. Time, when I think Gerard, I think ago. I think of him running back to the halfway line, going like that. No. Champions League. Jesus, when did that even happen? When was that? that was 2005. So here he goes. And again, it's interesting. Here, here he looks fine, doesn't he? Technique looks <laughs> good. Thinks everything's going to be absolutely fine. But what he's not thinking about is that ball. That ball's rolling away this way. You've got to keep that in mind. And he hasn't there. And then as we move it on one more, this is when it starts to look iffy. Because the ball has rolled away from his standing foot. And he's thinking, oh, God, what the hell am I doing here? And there it is. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Look at his body. It's that clear. Yeah. Someone's plonked a head on him. Weird, isn't it? That's a weird body. That's your legacy, David. Tough. That's tough. Better Better, man, that as, well. as Ben said. There. <laughs> it's there. And there he is falling over. So that's David Dunn's legacy, which I think is a shame. Um, but I think I'd like to I'd like this to be a new bit. So players whose legacies are frivolously disappointing things. Do you, do you think Gerard's legacy is impacted by the slip? Because that was the reason why they, essentially, that was the reason why they, they didn't That's win a phenomenal the question. Like Watkins, Watkins' dink, Watkins' little dink, or David Rea's indecision, or Liam Bailey's ability to finish could be the catalyst or the, the, pinnac the, the prime moment that's prevented Arsenal from winning the league. It could be, we don't know yet. But right. we know for a fact that Gerard slipping over their talisman in the same game where he says, I'm going to slip. Oh, see, that was a week before, wasn't it? Oh. Hey, hey, oh. we got some Norris from the Yeah. It's all so, like this. No, it's not like it. So, like, it, can you use that as a stick to beat him with at all? Does it impact his legacy? I don't think it does. But I, th it do you, I think the thing here with this new bit is Ooh. achievements, uh, uh, the, the body. The, the, so it's almost like it's like you're the, a jab in a, in a boxing match. A jab is a is a trophy. It's a great season. It's a goal. It's a, it's an achievement. But a knockdown can be Wayne Rooney having sex with a grandmother. Do you know what I mean? So what, yes. what, when you weigh up Love the it. jabs and the points... Does Wayne Rooney being England's greatest ever goal scorer and Manchester United's greatest goal scorer, does that outweigh a you night of passion with a 70 year old woman? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's a look, question I, that football I, podcasts haven't done the country need to answer. And I just think this is the place we could do that properly. 300 plus goals versus having sex with a granny. Yeah. It is sort of equal. You know what tips it on the edge is he left a note saying, I shagged you, <laughs> Wayne. That was what. It, that's all it said. Like a pauper X. <laughs> like, I don't think you should even put an X. It just that was like a, a scrap of paper. Wazza. I know he said Wayne. He was very like formal. <laughs> yeah, class, class act. I, class but it act. was just I. I shagged you. Like she didn't know. <laughs> yeah, she, he's concerned. She just. She kept asking me the same questions. I, I'm fearful she's maybe got. Maybe she's in the early stages of Alzheimer's. So I just wanted to make it very clear. <laughs> you slept with Wayne. Maybe. I don't know. That is an odd thing to no, do. No, so my my bad. My bad. I didn't get the full. I can tell you. I categorically what the note said in its entirety. I have condensed <laughs> it somewhat. Um, it said this to Charlotte. Charlotte. Comma. That's not a nan's name, is it? Charlotte. Yeah, this was as this was as reported in. I wish I, I wish I could give you the. Uh, um, let's say the son. Uh, to Charlotte, I shagged you. Love Wayne. <laughs> love. And it, you with just one letter. Really? Love <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> love Wayne. Do you, do you think? Do you think he was being? Do you think he was being? Um, did you think he thought he was being clever by saying just Wayne? What he was going to get? It will never make the papers. Because like moments like that happen, yeah. right? You know, you have a night where you 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 you're blind drunk. Something happens. You wake up and you're like, "What's happened there?" 
and then shit and you and you look to your left and there's a there's a whole bowl of Charlotte. someone's dentures <laughs> someone dentures there and but and some humbugs and you're thinking what's going on here you look to your right there's charlotte you know charlotte and on her on the herd table a bus pass <laughs> and there are rollers right um like when you're and he's thinking oh am i gonna get away with this surely he's thinking that am i gonna get away with this but he also wants to be polite so you don't want a, a half-eaten crayon what <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Prostitutes, threesomes, and a rump with granny. Was <laughs> the monetization gone? Yeah, and we're back. And we're back. Romp. Romp. Is Classic. that is that was that with Ah, I'm sure it'd be fine. Yeah, no. Do you know what I like? Actually, it'd be, it'd be good. Those they, you know those old school headlines that like those those kind of tabloids yeah. would have. Yeah. Wazza in Wazza in elderly romp. Yeah. Shock horror. Sordid. Sordid. Raunchy romp. romp. Love note leaves love note as he as he left. But yeah, did he write? Did he write Wayne and then went to go write Rooney and went? Oh, no, no, no. Don't want. Don't want this coming back. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, it's, and and has that affected his legacy? Is the question we're trying to get to here. But what I would like with the David Dunn one is I would like obscure because I think the good thing is with an obscure footballer that hasn't yeah. done done a huge amount in their career. Despite the hard work and dedication, David Dunn is, you know, is remembered was, forever was, because of that. Was and nothing Bicanio else. overrated because of that goal he scored against Manchester United? Great Manchester. question. Great question. So I actually had this as well, right? And here's a few to get you started. But I actually want, there's, I think there's a few bits in this for us. And one's like, so one was like, yeah, last week we were talking about, uh, you were saying like, who would get, who gets um, a trophy first? Me or you, right? We were saying who deserves it more. Who and I, and, and I think, more. I think if we had to pick one, who should have it? And I said you. No, you didn't. You didn't say that. I, I said, I think I, that's what I came to. That was the ultimate conclusion that you, QPR, deserve it because I don't remember what, what that's I said. That's not what you said. But... You said Spurs. You said Spurs. What, no, that. why would I? I, I said, look, it's pointless point QPR. Point when, it's, QPR it's pointless QPR going up. Q... Yeah. So you, you said it's, it's point pointless QPR going it's up. It's pointless. Speak. It's pointless <laughs> that. It's pointless that you. What, what is it? Like, it doesn't matter if like, QPR come up because they go right back down again. Like, it's important to Spurs in order to sort of, you know, draw a line under all this mediocrity that we've had to go through. For all these years, Do you know yeah, we're fucking we're all dealing. No, piss off. We're all doing. We're all dealing with mediocrity. But yeah, I saw this revisionism. Which players have had their legacies embellished or reduced since retirement? Now, before we get into this as a bit, I just want to say, like, don't. I don't know. I don't want this to become some boring thing, but I'm just giving yeah. you some examples. For example, Michael Owen been a victim of this. But because he pissed off, because he pissed off Liverpool fans by moving to United, he pissed off everyone, and he's a really poor commentator, so people don't give him the respect he deserves. Platini, it's a good one, brilliant player, awful FIFA exec, <laughs> responsible for the World Cup being awarded to Qatar. Yeah, that's a great shout. It's great. Like, I've never seen anyone's reputation be, be demolished by, by 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 in such a way. Roberto Carlos, who was a very, very good right back, a uh, left back, very steady. But this is true. He would have so many free kicks and the bulk of them were rubbish. But he scored a couple of screamers. I mean, would he got a lot of catches. Overrated? I think he was a little bit overrated. He's, he was awesome. But I also don't think there's a huge amount of left backs that blow your mind. And he blew our minds a few few times. Um, that and goal. But like there's also the ones like, you know, like Giggsy. No one talks about Giggsy anymore, do they? They don't feel like they can. And they, nor they should. They should, nor should they. People, yeah. Uh, it, In a like, different you world. Know, are, like, if are... you think, the amount of seasons he had, the goal against Arsenal, all that stuff. Yeah, no, but he's fucked his, his brother's wife. <laughs> yeah, well, well put. Like, who cares? Who cares what he did as a footballer? That's the most abhorrent, worst thing you could possibly do. But the point is, you've we've had yeah. a discuss, discussion on the mailbag. Well, how you do you, are so you, many goals. Are you allowed to separate art from 
the personal life of someone. You know, if someone like Michael Jackson or, you know, somebody who makes a film who's, what was his name? Polanski, Roman Polanski. Depends what they've done. Don't yeah, no, you're right. You're right. But no, I mean, I, look, if, you're allowed if, to like the Cosby show. You're not, are you? It's funny, not really, it's not tricky. anymore. It's a tricky yeah, no, it's, it's not really no. funny. It makes sense that you're not, but yeah, yeah. same with gigs. Like, you know. Gigs shouldn't get by, shouldn't get by. But I'm he's just, he's not allowed to be on all time list, is he? No, nah, because he, he banged his because he's on, yeah, because he's on the all time list. Um, yeah, okay, interesting. So, there you go, new bit. Players whose legacies have been affected in some way. Um, Jim Big Laugh Award, which people wanted to come back. Um, Cowboy yeah, Orange no, Soda yeah. said the amount of waffle, and this is ridiculous, it's literally nothing wrong with a shirt over a hoodie. <sighs> For example, supporting Fucking football isn't fashion week. I don't care. You, can you, can you, what was the point? What, what, what did you make? You said... Exactly what you're, do- you're doing right now, Jim. What did you say? I said, uh, they, I saw someone. The problem was, was like they had the tight shirt on. See, this kind of works because look, and someone said it. Ryan said, maybe throw a hoodie under that QPR shirt, James, fill it out a bit. Clever. And I took that on board, and here I am. But last but, week you were slagging them all off. I was slagging them off. If, so, okay, so I would like to make an amendment. The amendment I'd like to make is the shirt can't be so tight. That the this bit, this bit of your hoodie looks like you got a this big, like pouch thing. It's when it's like that, it just looks a bit. It don't look good. It looks weird. And when you, as soon as you step out of I, a football game, it doesn't make sense anymore. I don't own. I've never owned. A, I, I've never worn a Spurs shirt to football. I don't think in my entire life. So I'm not the best person to ask. That, yeah, because I, I don't oh, have yeah. Oh yeah, like I forgot. Because you're better than me, aren't you? See what you're trying to do. Um, this I'm certainly not better than you. Lubak, Lubak said, in America, right? In America, America, you see the jersey over hoodies a lot at NFL games, but the NFL jerseys are a lot larger than soccer jerseys, so it doesn't look too mental. Also, life lesson. Ready? If you're in America, don't mess with the guy with his jersey over his hoodie. Apparently, apparently the Stone Island get the badge in. Which probably isn't as really? hard as it used to be. Is is the jersey over the hoodie? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. I don't. Maybe this is a new bit. I'd love to know what is considered to be hard. acceptable or hard <laughs> or acceptable in U.S. sports compared to in England. Um, mm. Make me hard. That would be call interesting. It. So, so, so if you're going to watch, yeah, make me hard. Good. <laughs> so, if you're going to watch, so if you're going to watch the uh, NFL. You're a bit tasty if you wear your top over over your hoodie. Is that seem, what you're saying? It would seem so. It would seem so. I'd like. We really? need to know more. I don't. I wouldn't like to speculate. Uh, right. Crisis in the comments. Here we go. Um, well, first of all, I mean, Connor Gallagher said best thing about Friday is Jaffin. Twenty likes on that. Thank you for that, Connor. Connor, not the Connor um, Gallagher, a different one. Yeah, it is it? Can, just on that, can we have a quick chat about the the uh, the well, whole the penalty, penalty debacle? Thing. Yeah. Just yeah. Keep, right. I just, so yeah. ex- explain to anyone who doesn't who, who missed that one. Bef- before you do that, though, just just uh, something's been brought to my attention. Just want you to know that um, Champions League goals passed the round of sixteen since twenty eleven. Hummin Son three, the whole of Arsenal Football Club two. Um, so what we're talking about is if Eric you know, Dyer's been in. The week. Eric Dyer's going to be in more semi finals than Arsenal Football Club as well. Do you know that? Both facts, okay. both complete facts. Okay. Not to um, rattle anyone. The... Yeah, not just look. It's, these are just facts, and sometimes they come to the fore, don't they? Uh, my you WhatsApp know, uh, just so... um, bailed. There, it's not your phone. If you're listening right now, there you go. Carry okay, on. sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Chelsea had an incredible result, six uh, 0 against Everton at home. I think further testament to the fact that Postecoglou has been treated poorly and continues to be treated poorly. That the Chelsea fans don't really understand what a good manager they've got there. And uh, hopefully they force him out of a job. But anyway, that aside, what the fuck was going on with the um, with, with Palmer, the the Madeke and um, he, and Jackson trying to take the ball off him? First Jackson had the ball, then uh, is it Madeke had it? Madeweki had it. Yeah, Madeke, that's his name. That's it. 
<laughs> Madawaki. Uh, then he had it, and then and then. Uh, but 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 what 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 are they trying to do to Postacoglu? Like he's just had a great win. He's just had yeah, a great he win. Killed him six nil, and you've made it about that, and the press have made it about that. You could have not though, because uh, that was the that was, you know, that I was the glass, wasn't it? I, un- I no, I, I understand what that that was the the. <laughs> I'm getting slaughtered in the comments. <laughs> Jayski <Why>? Stadium. <laughs> Jayski. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Problem, problem um, with this, right? By the way, guys, problem with this is when you start to what, now, Flav will know what the wrong one is, but he's also been so aware of what the wrong one was. He, despite knowing the the right one, he'll it's almost fifty fifty in your head, and you don't know which one to say. It's horrible. Also, I've said po- I've said Postacoglu instead of Pochettino. I'm having a nightmare. All <laughs> oh, right, God, I didn't hear that. Jeez, uh, oh, you didn't even hear it. No. The point is, is that the players have to take some responsibility and understand what's going on at Chelsea and the pressure that Postino is <laughs> under, and um, <laughs> and just don't do that to him. What are you doing? Cole Palmer is the designated penalty taker. He's not missed one all season, I don't think. It's unreal work. It's... So why even make that a thing? Daly Alley was. Um, he made a good point on that one. He was like. He's like, I'm sure. I don't think they were. They weren't fighting for it when it was the last minute of the game against United. Now yeah. they're all like, it's honestly playground stuff. Such playground yeah. stuff. This idea, and also of any team, right? If you go like one to twenty, the Premier League, right, and you're going through the penalty takers, you might take you a second to think of like who's the penalty taker. I think the one team where you go, what's Cole Palmer? It's, it's yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. It's hundred percent Cole Palmer. Like you maybe go Ivan Tony, Salah, yeah, S- Saka maybe right. As a Sun take a view, I don't know. But that's me. But Chelsea, it's Cole Palmer. I mean, the fair, but fair enough. He's he's got three goals already, but just fighting full stop is it's pathetic, man. It's pathetic. You just yeah, don't just do don't it. Need like, it. He didn't need it. He was six 0 like, No one there, cares. Really. He's fine. It does there. nothing. Horrible. It does, James, it does nothing for Madawaki's, uh <laughs> for his standing this season, his reputation, nor Nicholas Jackson. No one's going, oh, he scored that penalty when they were 4 0 up against Everton. <laughs> with yeah. Thursday. Oh, sorry. Oh, he actually is good. It means nothing yeah, it's to, to he's anybody. Got... <laughs> That's so true. What actually you look at now is you think, is, what's going on in those, in those players' heads? Like, are they professional or oh, are they pulling in the same direction? Doesn't look like it. Just children. It's just, they, they, they look like children, don't they? They look like They children. look like children. Yeah, yeah. Cole Palmer was correct for, because he is the designated penalty taker. Conor Gallagher was correct for getting involved as a captain. It showed you the kind of his standing in the squad. Mm. What were the other two doing? What were they doing? Don't know. Ruri anyway. says, what's the difference between Palmer this year and when fans were calling... At Bruno Fernandez, well, he's consistently playing well in a in a what in a in a Chelsea side that's been struggling. He's been their standout player. Uh, he's the he's the he's a top scoring Englishman in the in the Premier League, I think, isn't he? Yeah, he's got I one ahead of Watkins. Top scorer, I think he's level with um, he might be level with Haaland somehow. Yeah, well, that's the difference. I might be wrong with that. Yeah, I mean. I, I do think Bruno as we Fernandes said, is his, a fucking arsehole as well, isn't he? I think he's the thing is Fernandez is sort of like whereas Cold Palmer he, is just like yeah. he's just a bit he's it's yeah, very it's, um, it's, joy is though it's he's bad. I promise you the way he is because he doesn't really he don't, I don't think he really cares what people think Palmer I promise you within the twenty four months people will hate him. People are going to absolutely. In what, hate him. In what, in, in what respect? I, 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 I've I seen, think. Go on. What well, did you say? It was clear that this kid had, had was 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 an excellent footballer when he was at City. I remember thinking, looking at him, going, "Oh my God, they've got a player there." And then I understand reasons why they had to sell him. But that was a massive coup for Chelsea. So what I, I haven't seen only I've only seen his trajectory go upwards. Is what I'm saying. Is no, what, I agree what, what with. You I just think I see something. I see. He's nonchalant. He's very nonchalant. I think he has an air of arrogance. I think he's not. Yeah. Oh, he's he's more towards he's more towards a Raheem Sterling in terms of personality than a James Madison, right? So you, you and think I that think the people, papers are going to turn yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah, 
That's my prediction. I can see it. And we, I can do you see, see what it. I mean? Like, and and yeah. because he's like, when he gets interviewed and he's just like, he's just giving f- flat answers, which is fine. He's like, he's a chid. He's a chid. He's a child. He's a kid. We're all struggling. <laughs> We're all struggling. <laughs> he's a chid. Just a chid. <laughs> he's a tiny little child. Um, but yeah, and, and I think a bit like the Haaland stuff, Haaland, when you dive into the stats, Haaland is not taking the chances that he should do. The style of chances that he's having are different. And I think that is hurting him a little bit. But I also think he hit such a ceiling. He hit such a high watermark bar. So That's many for so many different phrases. That that um, that like Rashford, a bit like Rashford this year, and Palmer's like, there is a there is a padding there of penalties for sure. Yeah, yes, yes. So if he scores the same amount of open play goals and they only get two penalties, his stats are gonna be way down. And yes. and will people go, hmm? No, well, they shouldn't because his quality outside of those penalty statistics is evident. Like anyone would, you can't look at how Palmer's played outside of the penalties this season in this Chelsea team that had so many challenges, and then and not be not not think that his stock has risen. Anyone who doesn't no, doesn't really know what they're looking at. I, I don't think so. They've lent was, on him aside from the penalties for sure. Absolutely. But Absolutely. it looks more impressive because of all the goals, but and a lot, of, a lot of which are penalties. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, Rory said arrogance is good, but English media will turn on that. That's something. So, uh, guys, if you are willing and fancy it, the two podcasts we did this week on the ripple effect are the best two we've ever done. Like it, we did one on Nedham is coming out on Friday. Nedham and are talking about he's so honest about punditry. We have like forty minute chat about punditry, and he's so I, honest. I cannot wait. And the second bit is about relegation, a relegation battle, and what it's like in the dressing room, and how it feels to be in that. And again, it's great. But the pod that's already out is probably even better, and it's about football intelligence. And Harry Brooks, who's a coach for some uh, for some Chelsea players, for some Tottenham players, Dortmund players, uh, loads of I had players. him on the um, on on the fine cock a couple of times. Oh yeah, wicked. Yeah, he he was saying he was he made a point about the sort of the, the bravery de- these days. He actually made a point. We went for a cup of tea afterwards, oh. and he was saying that if you go and find. In a, in a World Cup semi-final, if you go and find Jordan Henderson's like contribution, as in like every pass, it is Sunday league level, he says. It's like, it's so bad. Yet if you have a player who is generally great, but then tries something and they're like in the shape of a Cole Palmer or a Deli Alley, it's like in English media, it's like they're fair game to sort of go after them because they're arrogant instead of being about the passion and the hard work and stuff like that, mm. which I thought was really interesting. Whereas in like Spain, it wouldn't be that way. It'd be the other way around. Um, so yeah, I just think that I think people will, people will assassinate Cole Palmer's character. I just think I just can see it now and I hope he's, I hope he's ready for it. So I could just sit. Can it, am I, is that me being weird or like, can you see that? I no, I understand completely what you're saying. No, yeah. I, I, I yeah, I, I can see the, the press turn on him if he has a if he has if he manages to get game time in the world cup it could happen sooner than later mm. uh, that's civil war i've been talking about um and actually look just to say guys we're gonna also we're gonna break down this you sent me this flav and you're really excited about it and a lot of people wanted to see that analysis this is a recommendation from, from it, slug on twitter have, yeah have you seen it yeah, I've seen it. It's great. You've watched it once. It's amazing. Okay, great. Um, so we'll get to that. But I do, yeah, there's, there's civil war in the comments and, and we're just, you know, we'll acknowledge it. We hear you. Um, you know, as I say, a few people what? saying... What is it again? Well, people, just the football chat. People feel like there's too much. This is a top comment last week. 22 replies. This podcast always used to be 50% football chat. Maximum, it says in capital letters. The problem I'm was, what? like, if we, if, we, if we want to dig into it, the problem was is it, it, it got to a point where we were just reading out stuff to make up the bit that wasn't football. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was just like, it was, uh, oh, now we're doing a bit about Samisms, now we're being, and it needed a refresh. Too many we bits. need to find these yeah. things. Everything, like, you think the Ainsley, we just pulled an Ainsley out of, my, out of our, yeah. you know, out of you our got, ass. Yeah, you grow an Ainsley. You just, ha- it happens. You can't just sort yeah. of put, say, oh, let's do a bit and make it great. It, you got to, you got this is like think of it think of it as like a yeah sluggy breathe yeah you just gotta let, let it breathe okay yeah guys 
So anyway, he said, I want this to be a start of an uprising in the comments that takes Jaffin back to its glory days. Wow. My fellow slugs, oh, I need your support and backing. Well, it's an interesting discussion. Joe Allen says, eat salt. <laughs> it's an interesting discussion. Jesus Christ. Joe Allen says, eat salt. Crazy Films says, I think the solution should be more, more Jaffin. It's only logical, isn't it? I literally giggled when this came up, uploaded 20 seconds ago in my morning commute. Jim Bob says, I found myself over the last few weeks turning this off, thinking I was watching a football podcast. Standards are on the floor right now. After several re uh, reset pots and the death of Nosh chat, it's all been uphill for a footy chat. There's only so many times I can take Flav's freezing cold takes on Phil Foden. <laughs> enough is enough. And I thought this was in. Dan said, glad you all agree. This is as much a wake-up call to the comments as it is to James and Flav. We can all do better. I'm not trying to dictate the show here, but I would propose that the Jim Big Laugh Award and comments of the week quotes of the pod return as staples. Be funnier then. All of you. <laughs> all of you be funnier James, than you I, are I, right now. I, <laughs> I would agree. Crazy. I, I, would ag I would agree with that, though. The, 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 big, the big Jim Laugh Award and the comments of the week Make me fucking laugh then. <laughs> you make me mean... laugh, you lot. Where's the, where's you? Where are you? What are you bringing? What are you bringing? I, well, look, love the idea that Flav is a recurring guest on the podcast. That's Good. funny. Got that? That gave us something, you know? Okay. Yeah. But I, we said last week, can we have some new bits? Three new bits. They were. I'll tell you now. I'll be honest with you. They were crap. They were rubbish. <laughs> they were rubbish. You know, we all got to raise it here. If this is, you know, if this podcast is the dressing room of which we live in, yeah, okay, I've got to take accountability. Maybe, maybe look for like some funnier really, bits that are out there. Maybe have some thoughts. Maybe write those thoughts down. I don't know. Put in some effort instead of just leaning like on the chemistry that we have. I don't know. You're pouring fire on the Civil War here. I'm, I'm, you're pure fucking hell. You're pouring fuel on the fire. Is that even right? I don't know it's anymore. Fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. The thing yeah. is, right. On the Civil War, when you're supposed to be putting it out. Oh, no. Hey, you've got it. Let's have it out. This is the dressing room. Let's have it out now. Let's have it out now. Say what you want. Be better. Everyone, especially you, Catherine, says Jack Hancock. I agree with that. Couldn't agree more with that. <laughs> okay. All right. Ollie Sage says, honestly, I love the podcast now. I sometimes feel that bits were forced. And as, you, as we look through the comments, it is all over the place. Some people say, look, Lewis says, I like the football chat. I can't lie. I, I you can't the, the my this is where I'm going to draw a line in the sand here, right? Right. The bits you just cannot force. They either they're there or they're not. Whether you like it or not, whether the podcast has changed or not, you cannot force bits. Just you got to let bits grow naturally. <laughs> yeah, it's always been that way. Do you think we pulled shark facts out? Do you think we've gone? We started talking about sharks fact shark facts back in the day and gone. Both of us went. That's a bit. We knew it was a bit. Yeah. We didn't plan it ahead just because we needed a bit. Yeah. I agree. It's, you know, it's so like... Let it, let it grow. It's, it's like, imagine me, imagine me going... Maybe imagine Flab's a porn star and I go up to him and, and he's just... A, he's trying to he's trying to have a lovely scene of lovemaking and I go up to him and scream at him, get an erection, get an erection. Is that yeah, going to help exactly. him get an erection? It's not yeah. going to help like, him get an erection, is it? If you're going on a night out... If you're going on a night out and someone says, just be funny, why don't you be yeah. funny? Why don't you be sexy? Why don't you be better looking? You can't. Just let it, let it, let it grow. Yeah. Let it grow. Right. That said, let's, let's, pick, let's pick apart this bloke. <laughs> this is yeah, yeah, let's do this, this for is, sure. This is, this is great. This, this is great is stuff. Good. This is good stuff. Right. My, are you showing, showing the screen? Oh, yeah. Have I not? I'm just seeing David Dunn still. Okay. Done enough, David? Yeah, I've had enough. Okay. Uh, we're going to change windows. Uh, Oli Sage is trying to be, is stirring here. Do you see it? that he's doing? He keeps mentioning Lads Anonymous, which he doesn't need to do. Lads Anonymous available now has funnier bits anyway. Uh, James, don't listen to him. He's trying to put a wedge between us, and that's not a kind thing to do, given the fact that we've practically saved his life. Yeah, considering we've actually met, like, he literally wouldn't have a career. He'd be pissing about twiddling record like vinyl if it wasn't for us. <laughs> yeah. See what? It'd be eating out of bins. <laughs> yeah. You'd be eating, yeah, exactly. You'd be, you'd be eating out of bins right now if it wasn't for us. Yeah. Right. This is going to be great fun. 
So, I mean, initial thoughts before we press play, love. Where are you? Where on? I've only watched this once, so I'm looking forward to breaking it, breaking it down. I quite like this bald yeah. guy here. So what? So yeah, yeah, that's good. So what? So what this is about? This is um, Manchester City have equalised against Real Madrid uh, to make it one all. Yeah, and you can imagine that that is quite close to the away end because you only find this kind of behaviour in a stadium right where the border between the home and away fans is. So Kevin De Bruyne has just equalised for Manchester City. Oli Sage says the chemistry between Flav and his actual best friend, Ricky, is undeniable. So we, I think it's a one way. This is how we age is out. One week, Ben. Cross the line, Oli. Cross the line, son. Okay. All right. Luckily, we're securing our relationship, aren't we, James? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, you know. Now you know, though. Now you know mm. what it was like when you and Ben used to skulk <laughs> off and make content together. Skulk off. That's a good point. Nah, look, hey. Two wrongs don't make a right, though, do they? No, you're correct. Uh, you do your little pod. You do your little pod. It's fine. But the funny Trevor. thing is, this isn't. You know, you're just a guest here. I could replace you like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, stop it. All right, it's going down an ugly route. Right, this is this will bring us back. This will bring us back to a happier place. So yeah, the Bruins just uh, equalised. I think let's play it through once and just enjoy it. Then we can yep. break it down. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, <laughs> where do you want to start? I think we start there. I think we start there. <laughs> there. That is unconventional. <laughs> that is unconventional. Because <laughs> often, and that's why I appreciate it. Often, yeah, I didn't you know see we that get. coming. What, what's the t- what? How do you usually ch- chuck a wanker sign up at the football? What? Okay. Well, you yes, you can do I, it. Well, uh, yeah, you go like that, then. Yeah, you've you, yeah, they've they've hit a shot from outside the box. It's gone ten yards wide. Yeah. We point you point calmly and you go. What I would say as well, right? Did you go? Did you go a step back further, right? If you, I don't really do this, but if you are to get up and stand on your seat, yep. <laughs> I would suggest generally you're gonna do you're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. Arm. You're gonna yep. sort of arms up and out. Yeah. Who wants some? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. He, he's sort of, sort of, you know, it's it, great core strength there to just sort of we, go in, go also, in if anything. James, we we've seen his natural form here. This is how he masturbates at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's too he's, realistic, he's, isn't it? It's too realistic. Way too realistic. This yeah. is it's no, there's no place for this in the football stadium, really. I would say, but I appreciate would, it. What, what's crucial though? Like, I would say it. too generous though, if anything. Way he's too. He's very generous. Yeah, he's very generous. Yeah, and also Tongue out as well. Possible issue there. Possible issue. That's a, that looks a bit flaccid to me, if I'm honest. Flaccid also is not giving himself. There's not a huge amount of girth. <laughs> I don't think it's quite a small amount. Of... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got to, you know, keep up appearances. Go goes white. Don't 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 close your fingers. <laughs> don't. Last thing you want to do is close. Like you want to go. Best thing to do is that. That's 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 the power move wanking sound, isn't it? It's that. Yeah, like this. <laughs> um, he he's uh he's been he's been. He's been rattled the whole entire game, as you can tell. He's been waiting for this goal to go in. I've got to get this on slow mo. This, this, this should okay. be great. This will be great. Right, we'll just let it run. So yeah, off he goes. Yeah, tongue out there, oh, which I always find yeah, interesting. Yeah. Like, like Bellamy, like you know, when footballers run with their tongue out, or like Michael yes. Jordan would, he would play with his tongue out. Bellingham was Darren running Adam. with his tongue. Oh, did he do that? Darren? Yeah. There's a story like, about Andy right Townsend, out. isn't there? There's a story about Andy Townsend. Right. Where, where Gaza, Gaza went to Middlesbrough, and then he's like first training session. He goes, he goes to Andy Townsend, going, "What are you doing?" And he goes, "What?" And Andy Townsend, when he would run around, would go, <laughs> he, would, he would do that, and, and he said, "Why are you playing the trumpet?" He said, "What?" And he knew but Townsend no, and he went to Gaza and went, "Don't, no, keep that to yourself, mate." Because I've been yeah, doing that my whole thing. career, and I've got away. <laughs> yeah, don't make everything. That's a hor- in that horrible moment. The group of mates, you go, you can feel it like something forming. Yeah. Oh no, it's a thing. 
Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Uh, let's let it run. Yeah, tongue out. Interesting. Mm. F, <laughs> F off. F off. F yeah. off. Fuck off. F off. <laughs> How many times is that? Okay. <laughs> How many times did he say it? Yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's count them. This is great for just one. One. Two more intense. Three more intense. Three. Four similar intensity, Four. if anything, coming down. Five. Five. Six. Six. <laughs> and out. you. And you. Thumbs yeah. up. Thumbs up. See, this is interesting. The end. Was he. What's the slashing across the throat? Were they threatening to. Yeah, I mean, it's worse. It's a. It's, it's oh, Kevin De Bruyne. What I find funny as well is. Oh, the, Kevin De Bruyne. Clucking a bit there. Clucking a bit, I'll be honest. The, or do you want to find funny? Two things. One, men just men in a group singing, which we, which we all do. Like, as a concept, mm. I just find that so funny. We all just sing yeah. together. Chants. And that's... I mean, it's great. I love it. I would never change it. Secondly, the contradiction here where he's going... He's just said F off six times, right? Yeah. To someone. Then, that, then, feels, and then he's at- that feels provocative. And then he's saying... You're talking too much. <laughs> Look there. Giving it the big one. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, sure someone, that. No, someone's done. I think they've done this. Oh, he's, he's copying him. He's mimicking. Yeah. He's mocking him. Interesting. Good. Good. More this of that. This is good. And then this. Look. Oh, outside. outside. Look, outside. <laughs> outside. Which, outside. Which shows a bit of an awareness there. Me and you, me and you outside. That's never going to happen, is it? F off, he says. No, he's someone's doing that to him. No, I know. And he's, but he's, he's, he's not going to. He? Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. They went on to lose does... on penalties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he cut his nut down then, didn't he? Yeah, uh, that's why I'd love to see a video of him afters on the way out. Yeah. Oh, I've got uh, uh, one last video. Finish with this if we can find it. Because someone was like, please, please show this to Flav. And I reckon you've probably, probably seen it already. Um, let's see if we can find it. Share post. I'd love to see Flav and yours reaction to this. No, not that. Definitely not that because that's QPR. Someone laughing at QPR. Well, someone yeah. sent me a video. Uh, I get Why do people do that? I mean, oh, I can't be asked. Anyway, it's an Arsenal person. Um, we haven't even spoken about QPR. I've got to be honest. I'm absolutely petrified about this weekend. You'll be alright. You'll be all right. Are you playing against Preston at home, innit? What did you Fine. say yesterday? It drove me mad. That's another bit. Bits that you just do not want your mates to say to you when your team is on the verge of disappointing you after nine months of disappointing you. Freak, you got free cup finals now. You are. Fuck off. Free cup finals. Don't need that. Big, big games. Big, big games. Okay. Hey, hey. Last three games are big, aren't they? Are they? Mate, mate Jim, it's all in your hands, isn't it, Jim? Yeah. Hey, that's what you'd want, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Please wait. James, please wait. James, is it is bottom three in it or bottom four? It's bottom three. Why do you keep asking that? It's been bottom three be bottom forever. Four. It should be bottom four. Why? Just get more out. <laughs> what do you mean out? It's down. We're still Bunch all there. More, We're still all there living. Just get more out. Yeah. More tears is better, isn't it? More tears and emotion is better. Let's get more pressure on. Create more poison. <laughs> sure. One win, one win, lads. Come on, step it up. Preston side, they've got nothing to play for. I know for a fact. Same. Go on. What? You're fine. There's nothing to worry it's about. It's not fine. Look, look, it is. You beat Birmingham. You've got to draw away against Sunderland. You know, you beat Leicester away. No one thunk that would happen. <laughs> thunk. West, West Brom, great draw. You could have hey. thunk it. One win in eight. Preston, any good, are they? Yeah, middle of the road. <laughs> they there you go. Mid- They've got nothing to play for. It's they can't get in the champ. They can't get in the playoffs, can no. they? No, no. Exactly. Please win. And this is good. This is what we asked for. Remember, James. This is what we wanted because for Fuentes, his 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 stock was going up. Yeah, too high. You didn't you didn't want Middlesbrough to come along after they sat Carrick and go? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll try for Fuentes. For Fuentes. Mm. Oh god! Give him a summer. Uh, give him a summer to cook. Oh yeah, it's gonna be lovely. Oh, to I, I, I got. I heard some rumors about some players, and I looked up this player, and I was like, "There's no way we should be getting him." So if we do, 
you what, will be you'll be hearing it, all it, about it <laughs> what does he what does he ride what does it ride on you saying up uh pre- yeah probably yeah definitely needs to be in league one what do you think about this guys obviously i've worn the shirt here I'm always, you're always looking for a, a, a something to, to provide a bit of good luck i've not worn it at a game do i take that risk in the biggest game of the season is that yes or oh, no obviously obviously it's horrible then you'll it? know if, if it I is wear... good luck or not yeah you got to know if a piece of material can actually help you win a football game. Like, yeah. what what kind of nutcase doesn't want to know that? <laughs> do, you think I, do you think I'm overthinking it? Might be. <laughs> Might be. And but you know, bizarrely, I'm kind of liking the hoodie and the top over the top. Okay. okay. Right. Um, good luck, everyone. Apart from Preston um, and Sheffield Wednesday, Huddersfield, Birmingham, Blackburn, Stoke City, Millwall. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, right, all right then. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Get step up, you lot. Make me laugh in the comments. We're we'll back next week. And in the meantime, make sure you go tuck into Lads Anonymous. What have we done wrong? What? Why? Why are they saying cowards? Absolute cowards. Cowards. This is crazy. Not a mention. Not a single mention for a loyal, moist slug. What's happened? What have we done then? I don't know something's going on. Someone explain. Someone explain. Jack's gone there. I'm excited for QPR says, away next season. Bought some finet. Is, oh, is that what you want? You want to just, you basically just want some. I don't know what you want. What do you want? Do you want us to? Fuck knows. This is terrible podcasting. To, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to. Uh, there's more work you give me. Show the Pompey vids. <laughs> what Pompey vids? Pompey have gone up. Oh, That's great. That. That's great. No, it, it gives a shit. The You're away you end. You're away end. What? Stinks of piss. All right. How'd you like that? <laughs> do you know what else? Do you know what else I didn't like? Portsmouth is like saying champions. You're not champions. Stop that. One they promotion. Are when you win your league, when you win your competition, champions you are champions of, of that competition. No, 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 no. Champions of England are the ones that win the Premier League. All the rest of them just win the promotion. You are You've achieved promotion. You're your not league, champions of League, league One. one. That is not it. League One champions. You are it's League not. One champions. You're the champions of that league. It's All trophy. right, yeah. If you're, it's like... It's like I don't know. If I beat up a kid, would I call myself a championship boxer? No. <laughs> Just happened to be in a ring with him. All right. Well, well, there you go, guys. We've got a week to reflect on that. <laughs> um, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>